right, Paladins. I'm ready to join your team. Paladins? We're Power Rangers. Beast Morphers. What is this? 2012? Did somebody say Beast Wars? Waspinator ready to reprise his role. It's Power Rangers Beast Morphers. Yeah, show the toys. They're brand new. Pika Pika! Ah! My helmet! My helmet! On the table, it is all about Saban's Power Rangers Beast Morphers from Hasbro. Hasbro? That's different. After months of waiting, we can finally see what they have done to this storied franchise. Oh, uh, Barry, I think you're wearing the wrong helmet. That looks like Voltron. I'm just trying to figure out what year these Power Rangers are from. I'm so confused. Yes, there is a little bit of confusion with Beast Morphers. The American Power Rangers series going back a little bit to 2012, borrowing content from Japanese Super Sentai to Kame Sentai Go Busters. If I've said any of that correct, I'm sure Evox had something to do with it. Surprisingly though, for 2012 content, after viewing some of the footage from the first episode or so, it's looking pretty clean. We've got five toys today, let's start going through them. We'll start, of course, with the Red Ranger. And here we have the Red Ranger in all of Hasbro glory. Hey, you want to see something? Yeah, these action figures. No, no, it's cool. Check this out, Barry. I still have my original Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Jason Red Ranger in package unopened. How special is that? Dude, that package is really scuffed up. Yeah, yeah, it's old, okay, but it's special to me. Ah, look how cheesy they were back then. And to behold, for a toy that is over 20 years old, Bandai is still the maker. That highlights how crazy it is to see Hasbro's name on Saban's Power Rangers. Looking right into this package, this Red Ranger toy looks pretty fun though. I'm seeing a well-designed articulated figure with lots of accessories, something that we need to have with Power Ranger toys. On the back of the card we have an image of the Red Ranger in leather. That's gotta feel good to fight in. On the right side of the card we have other figures available, looks like five to start off the wave. Use the Red Ranger Morph X key with the Beast X Morpher to imagine activating Red Ranger powers. Not much of a story here, but still a flashy designed card. All right, Red Ranger, let's see you out. And Devon, the Red Ranger, out of pack. It's got to be stressful times for Hasbro. I'm sure they wanted to get these toys the very best their first time out. And looking at this figure so far, I don't think they have much to worry about. This is looking like a very fun Ranger toy. Someone's excited about it. Pretty much awesome from all angles. The Red Ranger's powers incorporating Cheetah DNA making him super fast and quick. You can see that Cheetah design element going through his helmet. Kind of like it's opening its mouth and growling. Now let's see what we have for articulation. I think you could say that Bandai has always led with very well articulated Power Ranger figures. In fact, in the early years, they probably pushed companies like Hasbro and Mattel to start articulating their figures more, especially in the knees and elbows. So I would hope this new figure has some great articulation. What do we have with head rotation? <laughs> Full 360, that's gotta hurt. It does not look like I get much of a bobble though, mostly just rotation. Then for the shoulders, we have hinges to move up, and they do rotate. I like the silver underarms they've got going with these. Elbow hinges that also rotate. It does not look like we have wrist rotation though with these figures. That's a little bit limiting, especially when they're moving their weapons around. Do we have something for waist rotation? Unfortunately, no waist rotation. Might have looked a little silly though, I don't know. There might have been some room for it by that belt, that's too bad. How about the hips? Ah, there we go, that's more Power Ranger-like. Wow, this guy's really tall. So we have hips on hinges that can rotate, and shockingly very balanced on that foot pad. That's good to see. So it looks like you should be able to get some really fun play kicks going on. And of course we have knee hinges, and I believe those knees rotate too a little bit. 
No ankles on the figure or lower foot rotation. You should be able to get enough rotation from that knee to get different standing positions. I would say overall for the price point and size of the figure, they've done pretty well with articulation. Well, let's try some weapons. We've got our classic Red Ranger sword. The grip seems pretty strong with these. We have our Red Ranger Cheetah Blaster. I think the weapons accessories turned out well. They have added some extra paint detail to them. That looks good. I want to say Bandai in the past has not produced the best weapons or accessories. So these two looking good. And we have a third accessory. We have our Red Ranger Morph X key. More Red Cheetah designed. It clips right down onto the Red Ranger's right arm. I might have to pick up a Beast X Morpher one of these days and see how those work. The key part almost swivels around but doesn't. I don't want to break that. So overall, for their first go around of Power Rangers toys, I think Hasbro has done well. They chose a 6 inch figure scale with these, which seems to fit right in between many of the Rangers sizes over the years. I think these will play well in any Power Rangers collection. Well let's move on to yellow and blue. Hiya! And it's Zoe the Yellow Jack Rabbit Ranger, and Ravi the Blue Gorilla Ranger. I always like collecting the Blue Ranger. On the back of the card, similar from before with the Red Ranger, we have figures available on the right side, a main image of our Ranger up front, and use of the Yellow Ranger Morph Key with the Beast X Morpher. Let's get these two out of box. And out of the box with yellow and blue. Now I'm guessing blue is going to be very similar to red. Probably why the Power Rangers toy contract is so appealing. Reusing pieces and changing color. Of course they do change up the head pieces on the guys. And of course a different body sculpt for the girls with a skirt. Gorilla helmet for the blue. It would have been kind of cool had Hasbro started introducing faces with helmets over top. Maybe soon to follow. Do I detect a little sparkle in there too? I think I do detect a little sparkle on those helmets. And the yellow jackrabbit design on her helmet looks really familiar for some reason. Peter, Peter! Articulation is obviously going to be the same with the blue ranger. For the yellow ranger, pretty much the same too, only with the skirt. Looks like they've cut it down on the side, so we can still kick out her legs pretty good. It's a softer plastic. That's actually a nice improvement over Bandai many a time. Those skirts have been so solid, you have got very limited movement in the legs. So we've got way more movement this time around. As for weapons for these two, we have swords as well. Looks like all the weapon swords are painted the same with a little bit of a blue metallic highlight. Individual blasters included, hopefully I didn't switch those up. I love how there's different blaster weapons with these. We have a blue Ranger X-Morph key with a gorilla face going down it. And Pikachu has grabbed onto the yellow Ranger Morph X key as well with a jackrabbit going down the side. Good choice, Pikachu. And bringing back the Red Ranger, all three of them looking very good together. I do wonder if Hasbro was somewhat bummed out going with only three colors this time around, with the Beast Morphers Power Rangers only going with red, blue, and yellow at the moment. Ah, there's always a Plaid Ranger reveal in there somewhere, right? Overall, good reboot start to the Power Rangers from Hasbro. We have to have someone for our new Power Rangers to fight, so we have Cyber Villain Blaze, the Evil Crimson Ranger, and a Tronic Soldier of Evox. Both these guys should give our Rangers some trouble. On the back of the cards, again, prominent images of the figures, each with accessories and Morph X keys, and of course, other figures available and all that fun fine print. And let's release the evil on the universe. Outside of the box with Blaze and a Tronic. You'll never look at kitchen knives the same way again. Each of these figures similar size to the Power Rangers only evil. Also very well detailed. Going with Blaze first. I like the suit design with this one. Looks like Hasbro is able to place a little more detail on their Power Ranger figures than what we've seen from Bandai in the past. Hasbro can produce a finer sculpting style and paint with their toys, although I do miss Bandai's signature plastic look. Good helmet design on Blaze too. Looks very sharp and menacing. The figures should sport the same kind of articulation as the Rangers from before, 
He does have some bigger shoulder pads so that might restrict a little bit of movement in what you can do. I like the look of the Tronic Foot Soldier though, that's for sure. This one would be fun to troop build. Sometimes the foot soldier toys get less attention. This one seems to have gotten plenty. A nice vibrant magenta suit with metallic details and armor throughout. Those are quite the shoulder pads. And again with those kitchen knives. Ouch. Good helmet design too. It's going to be a little tight with that shoulder armor. And I don't believe it's removable. It seems to be placed on there pretty tight. So there are the two very wily villains for the Power Rangers to kick up. Hiya! Hiya! And there is your first opening wave of Power Rangers Beast Morphers. Looks like Hasbro has done well with their initial run of toys. These play fine along a long line of great Power Rangers toys. Don't worry Pikachu, I'll get your Morpher X key for you. Saban's Power Rangers Beast Morphers from Hasbro arrive on store shelves spring 2019. Each figure runs approximately $12.99 a piece. If you're looking to reboot your Power Rangers collection from 2012 but in 2019 and with a new toy company, this is the collection to go with. Vibrant Rangers with plenty of articulation and punch, you can hi the excitement with this collection. Just make sure to be very careful with Tronic's weapons and not to slice up too many vegetables for lunch. That's what I have to say about that. The Power Ranger Squirrels are ready for their own show. Thanks for watching Squirrel Stampede. Please, like, share, subscribe.